Hey guys, this is Josh Schumacher here again with another bowling ball review. Um, this time it's going to be for the brand new uh, Eternity Pi. So the Eternity Pi features the same weight block um, as featured in the Eternity. This time it's um, wrapped in the Reserve Blend 901 solid cover. So, as you can tell um, with the two previous uh, Reserve Blend batches, the 701 and the 801, this 901 should be the strongest out of the three. So this ball being strong as it is, and I drilled it um, pretty strong and forward layout on it. You don't really expect this to be great from straighter, especially on a house shot here. Um, on some score patterns, they definitely still be more in play than that. Um, but we're going to start a little bit straighter, roll it a little bit more, see if I can kind of float it through the front part of the lane here. Yeah, I think um, unfortunately from that part of the zone on this house shot right now, it's not really going to be too much in play. So I'm going to go right ahead and I'll move about five left, kind of get to my normal hand position and see if we can give this one a little bit more room to the right. see um, that one folded through the front part of the lane a little bit better than the first one did. Came around that one a little bit more. Um, and kind of what I'm seeing early out of this, through a couple of shots in practice with it, um, kind of similar to the reality, it really doesn't struggle that much um, as far as shaping goes. Um, the gem for me is really good on a lot higher volumes, um, but with the cover being as strong as it is, it kind of locks up and goes a little bit more forward when you try to shape it. Um, whereas uh, this Eternity Pie and the Reality um, are a little bit better uh, when you got to shape it. Move one left off of that. Yeah, just a little bit left on that one. Um, but again, as you can see, kind of folded through there a little bit better than be expected. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and move another two and try to get it, get it going a little bit further right. It's the first time I've bowled in about two weeks now. Um, yeah, clearly a little bit rusty. There we go. There we go. Pretty good shot there. Um, yeah, as you can see, it really just kind of digs in and slows down um, pretty quick. Um, but then it still shapes a decent amount down the lane, which I feel like is kind of unique to some of these higher end um, global pieces. They create as much traction as they do, um, but they do that without sacrificing the shape. Go ahead and move another couple left here. There you go. Didn't rotate that one quite as much, but as you can see, it still had plenty to shape um, down lane, even though I got it right a little bit quick roll it a little bit more. So usual. I think we're just gonna keep keep chasing it left here. Um till she keep, till she quits. Going up the lane a little bit more than I wanted to. 
but still, when you can um, have balls or you throw mediocre to bad shots and they still get nine, um, you know that's a pretty good piece. Go right ahead and another one left off of this. Slow it down a little bit and add a little bit more rotation. Ugh. Apparently we're uh, we're spraying and praying right now. It's okay. That's why I do these videos um, uncut so you can see the good, the bad, and the ugly with them. Right. See if I can wait on this one a little bit. Actually, get it going right. God. <sighs> subpar after subpar shot. All right. I promise I'm gonna get this one going a little bit further right. We got the Yanks right now, which is never a good thing. Especially when you're trying to throw a ball this strong, that shapes this much, and uh, this much friction. There you go. Wow. That was uh, pretty good there, and as you can see, that one still had no problem. Keep shaping. I'm gonna go right ahead and keep jumping left and keep giving it a little bit more rotation until I get one that flat tends on me. Actually, very surprised at how much this ball is shaping from this far left. It's kind of um, up in the air with how much light I wanted to use on this. And I was originally going to go with a little bit weaker of a pin to PAP distance. Um, but then I worry on the stronger asymmetricals, um, they get a little too forward on me if I do that. But even with a Four inch pin on this one, it's having no problem shaping. Wow. All right, I guess we're uh, just going to keep moving off here. See, it's and just based on what I'm seeing now, this definitely seems like it's a little bit cleaner and quicker than the original um, reality. Something like that. <laughs> Man, this thing is just having no issues whatsoever shaping. All right, well, now we're in a nosebleed territory here. This is um, seriously pretty impressive right now. And I'm just going to keep, keep shimmying left. But I think um, I obviously wasn't throwing very quality shots um, in the middle there, but it definitely seemed like it was getting offline a little bit quicker than it should have. 
So I think this is going to be a pretty good ball for when you got to shape it a little bit more, um, but also going from a little bit straighter and rolling it more when they're fresh. I think the middle zone might be kind of dead for it. All right. Another two left. Send it right and watch it eat. <laughs> I throw it against the, the reality and the original eternity here. Um, but first, I want to miss with it. All right, another two left. Try, try to catch all this one here. At all that one, and you can see it's still had no problem shaping down lane. I think um, I'm gonna move two more, um, give it just a touch of air time here, and if we can do that again or strike, um, pretty much running out of room on this lane. So it's gonna show you that this this ball is gonna be pretty versatile and kind of what you do whatever you want to it, um, with the hand at the bottom and it's going to listen. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, seriously, or split in half. <laughs> So, so rotate that one a little, got a little spinny with it, um, but I mean, at that point we're so far left, it's going to be tougher to get through the pins. So go back right here um, with the reality, roll a little bit more, I think you're going to see this get offline a little bit quicker. Oh god. Miss that one a little bit left, um, but I definitely think that uh, the reality is going to be a little bit earlier and rounder. Um, regardless, all right, let's jump a couple. What's that? Ah, uh, like two thirty usually. Yeah. <laughs> Here. <laughs> yeah, about 20 of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, I think just instantly gets offline. Um, I don't really think that it's going to be much in play right now. Uh, so we'll hop into the Eternity. Same spot as the Reality right there. Yeah, so even with the service on that one, um, you could see that one float, float through the front part of the lane a lot easier. And have a little bit straighter off the end of the pattern. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of this Eternity Pie so far. So, be sure to head over to your local store and VIP Pro Shop if you're interested, and pre-order your own. Catch you on the next one.